everybody. Becky here again for another very quick mommy moment. I know my last one was like almost 40 minutes long. Sorry. Uh, just me hanging out. It's like quarter after 10. Hanging out with my laundry pile that's been on my bed all day long. And the only thing I've done is move it back into the laundry basket so we can go to bed. But I was just kind of going through the shirts a little bit to pick out the outfits for tomorrow morning. And this is a new pet peeve of mine. And I was just like, I'm just going to do a really quick video. This, again, is a new pet peeve of mine. And I'm not the kind of person, I'm not just going to get like rid of the shirt. I just probably wouldn't have bought it myself. But um, my husband and his mom were out in America, in Arizona. And um, they did some shopping for the kids back to school stuff. So I wasn't there to like veto it. So I won't get rid of it or anything like that. But it's just a little bit of a pet peeve I've had lately. It's shirts like this. And it says, hold on, uh, no bad days. And then it's got like the laughing, crying, laughing emoji thing. And it just kind of, like it's supposed to be cute and fun. And it's just like a really bright pink shirt with the sparkly emoji, which is like really popular right now. The emoji stuff but I just don't like the idea of it saying no bad days uh, I feel like it's kind of perpetuating that always put on a smiley face always be happy and bubbly and everything's good all the time when that's not true um, you might be able to hear my middle daughter having a meltdown right now she hurt I think one of her teeth is wiggly she's not even six years old yet she's too young to have wiggly teeth but she hurt her bottom tooth or did something in the van. We're not 100% sure, but she's hurt. Uh, she's not having a good day. Well, her day's been on and off. But um, I just don't like this idea that, like, just cover that, up. that it's just, like, no bad days ever. Like, we all have good and bad days. Some people struggle with depression and stuff. And I don't know about statistics with kids, but this is for my, like, seven-year-old. My mother-in-law may have bought this for my almost six-year-old just because the size is seven, eight, and she tends to buy big, but my seven, almost eight-year-old would fit into it. But whatever the age, whether like five, six, seven, eight, whatever the age range is, um, I just think like, I don't know about like depression necessarily with that age. I, I know it can happen, but I'm not, this isn't about mental health necessarily or about like actual severe clinical depression or anything like that just we all have bad days sometimes you cry sometimes um my kids are in school so maybe they got picked on or they just got left out of a game or something like that like sometimes it's like oh my friends all want to play this game and I didn't so I was kind of left out just whatever whatever it is sometimes you just have a bad day and that's okay and I think that's a message we need to give our kids like it's okay to cry it's okay to have a bad day it's okay to be mad and like the Bible says, do not like be angry, but do not sin. So I think we need to teach our kids that there's a whole range of emotions out there and they're God given and they're okay. And we can experience all of them and we can act sinfully within those emotions, whether it's a positive or negative emotion, because I can be really excited about a amazing sale and then go and spend like 200, 500, a thousand dollars and be like, well, I it, it was a sale and I was excited and it made me happy. Uh, a good example of this is actually our Basset Hound. We got her from a pet store. Terrible, I know, worst thing ever. But, like, I've always wanted a Basset Hound. And we were at the mall and I was just dating my husband at the time. And I was like, she's so adorable. Can we please hold her? And that was it. I fell in love. And 11 years later, she's still our dog. And she's amazing. But we did it out of a... We... It was not a good decision, and it was made out of a positive emotion. So I think the movie Inside Out does a really, really, really good job with this and explaining, like, in order to have happiness, in order to have happiness, you need sadness. And so, like, this whole, like, no bad days, I just don't like the that it perpetuates that we just have to be happy and bubbly all the time. Anyways, let me know what you think below about um, the movie Inside Out about teaching our kids things like sharing our emotions and um in a positive not in a positive way but in a in a good way sharing even like negative emotions anyways thanks for listening like subscribe comment down below share with your friends uh 
and see you next time. Bye.